and that's some good coffee. Right, now we're ready with the video. <laughs> so hey guys, Fast Free here, and welcome to another edition of the Wrestle Crate unboxing. And sorry, I just got a text. So we got this month's Wrestle Crate unboxing for you guys. You know, as always, Wrestle Crate is a monthly subscription service, kind of like uh, Loot Crate. And if you do want to get your very first Wrestle Crate, I ensure you. The standard crate is uh, £11.99, I'm, I'm pretty sure, and the Ulmo edition is £21.99. I'm pretty sure, I have to, I have to keep checking on, on WrestleCrate's website because I always forget. Um, so this is June's edition, I have received this Wednesday, so yesterday on the 22nd, it's the 23rd. Well, almost coming, almost coming uh, Friday because I'm filming this way before midnight. Um, this month's Wrestle Crate, I I, re I received this yesterday morning, and I was thinking to myself, why on earth is this month's crate so light? I don't know whether they rushed to, to bring this editions of Wrestle Crate out. I don't know, but for some weird reason, I think usually. Um, by the way, this is the standard crate. Usually they will have five items in the standard one. Um, I had a quick look inside. I didn't fully go through everything on what was there, but I only see four items inside. I don't know whether they missed out something in my crate. I, I'm not 100% sure, but I will have to keep, keep checking on their website because once they do their whole, okay, you got this amount of days to subscribe to next month's crate. Um, they usually show off, oh yeah, here's what you missed last month, um, which I'll check through if um, they missed anything out, and hopefully WrestleCrate is so nice that if they did miss anything out in my crate, then I'm pretty sure we can get around something and send something that was missing in my way. But I don't know. I, I don't really know. Um, so yeah, if you haven't already, if you are interested in WrestleCrate, I suggest you go right ahead and get it, and if you want to get some money off your Wrestle Crate, um, two guys that I recommend you use their code SMACKTALKS and DELZINSKI. Two awesome YouTubers who do um, WWE style content, uh, mostly with WWE 2K16. DELZINSKI has his own universe mode, which is amazing. He's been doing that for the, for the course of a year. Well, feels like more even because he started with 2K15 and did it 2K16 and then Smack Talks however he does um, Wrestle Crate unboxings. Um, there's another one called Slobber Knocker Box which um, I'm still kind of thinking about getting um, but yeah so Wrestle Crate this is the standard edition for June 2016 next month I just wanted to quickly mention uh, next month's Wrestle Crate unboxing will be the very first Ultimate Edition that I've ever got. Um, I renew my subscription and change it to the Ultimate Edition of uh, Wrestle Crate. So that will be awesome. Okay, I just got a mess weird message on my computer. But anyway, let's just get right down to this. Hopefully, um, Wrestle Crate will point out if I, if they did miss anything in my crate and stuff. So let's just get right right ahead. And it's kind of weird as well because they had the tape on the sides of the box and they've only had it on like just here. But it's pretty weird. So yeah, um, just right off the bat, soon when I open this and have a quick look inside, I only see four items. And it's not a bad thing. I mean, you know, every single month they do not seem to fail me with what they have inside. But I think this month it doesn't really seem... I wouldn't say it's all that all that bad, but I think maybe they could add something one specific extra thing in there, maybe. But yeah. But anyway, let's just right, get right down to this. Hopefully, and again, hopefully, Resurrect. If you do come across something missing here, because I don't know, um, then feel free to point that out, and hopefully, we can do something. So right off the bat, as I'm holding this. We have a, what looks like to be a badge that you can put on your shirt, um, or a pin. Uh, this is the World Heavyweight Championship 
Nice, nice little pin there. You can see that. That's very nice. I mean, I mean, sure. You sure you get stuff in WrestleCrates like oh, you got key rings and and little pins. I mean, sure, it may not be nothing, but wrestling styled. That's awesome. Uh, it's very shiny as well. Look, the World Heavyweight Championship. For anyone who does not uh, keep up to date with WWE, um, the World Heavyweight Championship they got rid of. Um, they got rid of it. When the hell was that? Jesus Christ. Uh, at the summer of 2014, when Brock Lesnar won the WWE World Heavyweight title from John Cena, and then they thought, oh, we'll get rid of the World Heavyweight title, still with the WWE World Heavyweight title that we have now. So, this is this pretty much long gone, this title. But, it's still nice to have. Nice little bit of memorabilia there. Uh, so, yeah. The next one we have a DVD. This is Ring of Honor Global Wars. Uh, right off the bat, I see guys like. Um, oh gosh, what's his name? <laughs> Already I'm forgetting his name. Jay Briscoe, that's his name. We've got the Briscoe brothers at the front. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, ACH, and the Bullet Club. So I'm guessing this is um, Ring of Honor versus New Japan, from what it looks like. And this was May 15th, 2015 in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So that's... Sorry about the glare, guys. That's it right there. Uh, just going to go for a few matches at the back. So we've got Team Ring of Honor versus Team Bullet Club. Uh, a 10-man tag team match. So we've got the Briscoe Brothers, Roderick Strong and War Machine. Uh, which involves Hanson and Rowe versus AJ Styles, Doc Gallows, Carl Anderson and the and the Jackson brothers, uh, the Young Bucks. Uh, then we have Hiroshi Tanahashi versus Michael Elgin. Um, some some of these guys I'm mentioning, I'm still getting used to them. I mean, I may have seen one or two matches like, okay, I may have seen Tanahashi's matches as well as Elgin's. Um, also here we've got the world television title, Jay Lethal vs Tetsuo Nado. Again, two other guys I'm still getting uh, used to. Jay Lethal does seem pretty awesome in the ring. I do hope he comes to um, WWE someday. But um, I do know recently he um, showed up at uh, a brand new show called What Culture Pro Wrestling, uh, where he defended his Ring of Honor Championship against um, Noam Dar. I think that's how you pronounce his name, but I mean I haven't. But their show goes on YouTube. Um, coming this Monday, even holy crap. But anyway, um, ACH versus Shinsuke Nakamura, as I mentioned, uh, we got um, Rapunzel Vice versus the Decade versus the World Tag Team Champions, The Addiction. We've got Cedric Alexander versus Okada. I can't pronounce his first name, I'm not, I'm not going to bother trying, but Okada, another name I'm still getting used to. We've got Kingdom with Maria Canellis versus Matt Seidel and Jushin von der Liger. I'm not really sure who Kingdom is, but I will have to look at that. Uh, Chris Saban versus Carl O'Reilly versus Kushida. Seidel so and uh, Takaki Wanatabi versus Musa and Gado. And there's some bonus stuff here. We've got Donovan, Donovan Dijak versus Dalton Castle, and some pretty much comments from the Bullet Club and the Ring of Honor All Stars. Uh, then we've got a post show recap with Kevin Kelly and Steve Carino. Uh, this I will actually get around to watching at some point, so that will be awesome. Next, we have a shirt here, which I'm going to leave till last. Um, Okay, it does. It does seem like with this picture that I have it, it did feel like I had more to it, but it looks like we don't. It does actually. As soon as I picked up this photo, it felt like oh, there's something else attached to this, but it looks like it's not. So this is a signed photo, autographed by the way. I really enjoy our wrestle crate. I mean, like um, the other crate that I got, Rey Mysterio. Uh, which was the exclusive when he came to London in January. What culture did they uh, interview with him? 
But this one, we have, uh, this project was conceived by photographer James, uh, James M Mugglewhite, I'm pretty sure that's his name, to showcase the athletes and performers in the flour flourishing UK independent wrestling scene with an emphasis of character, storytelling and impact. These images represent the reminiscence of the UK wrestling scene. Uh, so this is a signed photo. This is the picture of a wrestler. Uh, this is by none other. I, I don't even know who this guy is. I will have to look him up. This is a signed autograph photo of Mark Andrews. So I'm guessing he's in the UK uh, independent scene. So that's pretty nice there. Even though I don't even know who he is. Uh, so it does say a little bit at the back as, I, as I'm reading it. So Mark Andrews is a high flyer famous for Defend Indie Wrestling and wrestling, and winning Impact Wrestling's British Boot Camp 2. Uh, and then obviously at the bottom he has its links to its Facebook, Twitter, um, yeah, all of Mark Andrews' social media where you can follow him. So it's pretty nice, even though I don't know who he is. Mark Andrews, everyone. And finally, this month's t-shirt in the Ultimate Crate, which we'll be getting next month, you get two t-shirts. So that is a nice little thing that WrestleCrate, WrestleCrate's been doing. So let's see what we have for this month's t-shirt. Um, last month we had uh, Shinsuke Nakamura versus Sami Zayn, the Fight for Everything. And that was awesome. And right off the bat, this is a grey and pink kind of design t-shirt. It's got the outlines, same as uh, last month's t-shirt. So this is uh, Summer of 92, Canada's Champion versus the Great British Challenger, live from London, England, uh, August 29th. 1992 so I'm guessing this is supposed to be um, even though I've not watched the match again this is something I do need to uh, watch so this is uh, Bret Hart versus the British Bulldog I believe this was live at Wembley Stadium from what I was told uh, Bret Hart and the British Bulldog I don't know if you can see that my lighting's pretty bad in my room by the way I forgot to mention so there we go, a little outline with Bret Hart and the British Bulldog. So this this is um, probably to do with SummerSlam or something during the summer. Summer 992, Kendall's Champion and the Great British Challenger, live from London, England. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, guys. I do apologise with the lighting. You may want to. Uh, just the brightness on your screen there but that is pretty awesome even though I've not watched the match yet um, because with me with my with my wrestling uh, when I watched wrestling I usually watched all the stuff from uh, 1993 onwards so when I first started watching I watched um, King of the Ring 1993-94 and then came Royal Rumble 1995 um, I still got my VHS tapes, funny enough. Um, I've got a few WCW, even though you can't see it, I have a few WCW. Um, I got Royal Rumble 1998, St. Valentine's Massacre. Um, what else did I? King of the Ring 2001, which I haven't watched in the longest time. Uh, I've got the Hardy Boys, Leap of Faith, the, uh, VHS, as well as the Hardcore Championship. Um, Bash at the Beach, I'm not quite sure what year it is. We've got um, Over the Edge. Uh, I do know I've got Insurrection 2000 and 2001 as well, which obviously I do want to replace them to for a DVD copy. But anyway, um, that is pretty much it for the WrestleCrate, even though it doesn't seem all much for this month. I'm not sure if WrestleCrate missed something out from my for my crate alone, I don't know, but I'll but I will see with them. Um, I think once again the shirt has really sold it off, um, even though I've not watched the match. Uh, last month was pretty awesome with uh, Sami Zayn and Nakamura. 
So yeah, we've got the shirt, a signed photo of Mark Andrews, even though I don't know who he is. So we'll have to do a little research. Uh, a World Heavyweight Championship pin, which I'm probably not going to open. And when I get around to it, Ring of Honor versus uh, Bullet Club from last year, which I will have to get to. So that is pretty much it. I mean, sure, not it, it hasn't been the greatest wrestle great this month. I mean, the shirt really does it all, but the others, it doesn't even feel much. I wish they could have put something else in there, but I don't know. But I will have to see because um, it's usually on the website obviously they will say oh here's what you missed last month and then in that ultimate crate you could have got this so um, I'll probably have to check and see so um, that is it for this month's Wrestle Crate unboxing I hope you enjoyed stay tuned for next month because it will be my very first ultimate edition unboxing um, two t-shirts which is going to top it off uh, and other nice little goodies so um yeah, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for next month's WrestleCrate video as well as uh, WWE pay-per-view predictions that I, that I do on this channel as well. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> see ya. Bye.